Steve, some, some great fights shown over the last three days, but ultimately you fell short. What's your assessment of, of day three and, and the match as a whole? Uh, yeah, one thing is, uh, firstly, I don't think we can fault any effort. Um, you know, they got the at the toss, I think they got it right. But um, we knew it was going to be a result pitch and Hampshire have come out on the round side of it and, and well played to them. Um, but we've still got a chance to win the championship and that's all you can ask for going into the last game. Yeah, it was certainly a game of fine margins. You said there was a couple of decisions that could have gone either way over those first two days and a couple of chances that, that could have gone to hand. I suppose that's just the nature of, of four-day cricket. Yeah, I think if we look at it as well in isolation, we, we dropped five catches on that first day and didn't ball great that second session. Um, but we kept, kept fighting back. I think we had one decision yesterday, possibly could have gone our way, Vince on, on six, but that's the nature of the game. They can't get them all right. Um, but, um, yeah, my assessment is that we weren't good enough, ultimately, and Hampshire deserved the points. You mentioned the pitch. It, it did seem very difficult to bat today, I think, of the 14 or 15 wickets that went down. The majority of those did go to, to spin. Is that what it seemed like? For you, certainly, about their batting. Yeah, very hard. Um, some balls, you know, bouncing and going over people's shoulders. Um, you know, I think first credit to Liam Patterson White, the way he bowled. Um, but the big three seamers, you know, the, the way that they're going about the business is standing in great stead. And what will happen, whatever happens next week, we should be very proud of where we've come this year. Yeah, regardless of the result, there were some performances who, and yeah. some people who can and hold their heads high. You know, Liam in that first innings was with some valuable runs and a five from the second innings. And obviously, Dane went on another burst as he seems to do and, and regardless of the outcome of the season they're, they're real high points for you as captain as well I suppose. Yeah and and the the biggest pleasing point is that it, we've been really consistent mm. obviously we didn't get many batting points we didn't get any batting points and, and we lost you know two unfortunate wickets yesterday morning and then a couple of good balls and you're buying the eight ball a little bit but the way that um, you know Ben Slater and, and Liam batted um, yesterday you know we were 70 behind which on that wicket was a, was a big lead uh, but then at 20 odd for, for four and then uh, the big part when we thought we had Vince at 28 for 5 you know they're 90 in front 5 wickets down it could be a different game but it wasn't to be um, and as I said credit to Hampshire they played really well You can look ahead to the, the final game of the season certainly in the group stages now I suppose is it, is it a matter for you for just controlling the controllables you can't really handle anything that, that happens elsewhere No we can't and I think we need these 4 or 5 days off uh, especially the big 3 seamers be a chance to, for us to go and um, refresh, you know, and come hard against Yorkshire next week. We're also a very good team. However, their game goes tomorrow, um, you know. But at the end of the day, mathematically, we can still win the championship, and that's the position that at the beginning of the season we'd have took.